Hey everyone, welcome back. That neat little pile of metal there on the table is going to become a really cool folding wood stove. And the price is pretty incredible on it. So we're going to check it out when we come back. Now admittedly, you could probably use pretty much any little piece of shaped metal to become a wood stove. But I think this is something really cool for those of you that always want to have some kind of cooking or heating ability with you, even in your pocket. This is the package it comes in. Really, really tiny little stove here, and it does have a little elastic band around the pieces on the outside. We're going to put it together. I'm going to show you how it works. It does have a slim, compact design. Of course, it folds flat. Well, not really folds. They call it a folding stove. It's more of an assembly <laughs> routine here. It isn't just folding up like a little uh, pancake. The six panels snap together for an easy, quick setup. It does take a little getting used to to do it. And if you don't do it right, and I saw one of the reviews where somebody was saying, this is chintzy, it just falls apart. If you don't do it right, everything's not going to lock in together, and you're not going to have a solid lockup with it. This can burn pretty much anything, biomass, fuel, wood, charcoal, anything you want found around you, so you don't have to lug around any kind of fuel for anything or anything like that. This is totally easily set up anywhere. It's almost like a miniature fire pit. It has a conical design, so it kind of focuses the heat up towards your pot. Now, I will explain something when we set this up. Um, if you're using like a Stanley Cook kit or something, they're probably not going to be the stove for you because it has a smaller base, and this is a very wide bottom. Today, what we're going to be using is this GSI Cook Kit here, and I'm just going to boil some water in it and test it out and see how well it works. But um, for something like that, this is ideal. Really small, really compact and very, very easy to use. It's uh, 234 grams, which makes it 48.3 ounces. Save you lots of weight in your backpack, you know, and it's pretty much an indefinite burn time. As long as you feed this, you're not gonna run out of fuel. So it's got really, really super fast setup and takedown. Again, the takedown is very, very simple, but if you don't do it right, you're gonna be like, how does this thing come apart? I can't get it apart. <laughs> so it's gonna, be, uh, it's gonna be easy. We'll show you how to do it. Um, it does come with two bottoms. Now, if you choose not to take one with you, you can leave one at home. This one's more for a fuel tab, uh, alcohol stove, you know, you can put it in there. This is more for wood, so you can get the draft coming up. Now, it is coated in a very thick blue plastic when you get it, like most stainless steel items are. So you will have to peel that off. In the holes here, I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's still a tiny little bit left, so we'll probably get a little smoke from the, the plastic burning off, but that's what it looks like. I wanted to save the back on here to show you. This is what it looks like, and it just peels right off. It's very easy. There you go. Very simple to take off, but that's what it looks like. So just so you know ahead of time, um, I don't want people to get surprised. Now, this is in very low stock currently on Amazon. Do not freak out. There are more coming. I know I put stuff up, and it's like everybody buys it out, and it's like wait a minute, where's mine, you know? If you're 10 minutes late to the video, it's already sold out. So um, they are getting more stock coming up on the site, so don't forget to check it out. So what I'm going to do first is explain to you how it goes together. So let me set that up, and we'll bring you right back. All right, these go in no particular order, so it doesn't really matter how you put them together. You do want to keep the dimples facing outward. That's what I was told. Um, and they're just going to go together kind of like this and slot together. So they're very, very simple to put together. There's no real... Uh, no real difficulty in snapping them together. The other side will go, you know, up like that and in like that. Let me use this side to show you, to demo it. So, there you go. So the first few are going to be tricky because they want to fall apart. But after that, you will get this and you'll see how easy this is to do. So you're just going to put these together. And I like to do about four or five of them before I try to put this in. You'll notice the bottoms only have three slots. So basically what you're going to do is close this in around it you know, as you're doing it. You can go higher or lower. We're going to go a little bit lower today because it is kind of windy out there, so I'm not worried about too much draft. And, of course, I put more on here before I do this. I'm just demoing this quickly for you. Let's put that in there, that in there, get in there, there. So you see kind of what it's going to look like, okay? So let me finish putting it together before we try to put the base in. I like to put the base in when we're almost finished. Um, I know this for some people... This can be really confusing, but I find setting it up like this on a flat surface on the ground makes it a little bit easier to do. You know, you just kind of doing it like this. Now here's your last piece. A little bit 
piece of blue plastic there. I don't want to catch on fire. So your last piece is going to go in like that. There you go. Now I'm going to put the base in. So I've slotted the base into place. And we're going to take this and put it over. Snap that into place. And then I'll show you how sturdy this is. This really just slaps, snaps right in there. And you're good to go. i got to push that up in there. It's really, really simple. So once that's all together, we're going to take it outside. And we're going to burn it in. So what I've done, that just snapped in as I was starting the camera, is put it together here. <laughs> and there you go. That's all in there. Nice and sturdy. Nice and tight. So let's take that outside and start up a fire again. This is a twig stove. It's a smaller, um, you're going to be using smaller pieces of wood. So you have holes here where you can feed it from. Or you can just put one log in there. Not log, but piece of wood. <laughs> and uh, let it burn. So let's set it up outside and give it a shot. All right, so we got it all set up here. I have a little bit of kindling and a little bit of wood in there. I got my dry iron lint there. And this guy here, this is my Holstman's Gorilla Survival Knife and Fire Starter. Definitely like this thing. So we're just going to toss this in there with this dryer lint. Catches very, very quickly, as you can tell. And throw some wood on top. I chopped up some wood here, tonned up some wood, just to uh, get it going. Got a nice little pile there and some more over here if I need to. You see it really doesn't take much wood to process this. And I have my uh, cup over here. So we're going to measure out two cups of water and... Uh, put it on the fire once that gets going all right so it's going pretty good there and as you can tell it is a nice um, conical shape kind of forcing the flame up so we're gonna put two cups of water in here and see how that works whoops splashed a little out there there you go Okay, and I'm just going to put that on there and show you how easy it is to feed the wood. If you want to feed wood through here, and that's a fairly large piece of wood, I can stick that right in through the sides. Real simple, so you can keep the fire fed. And it does seem to be holding up pretty well. You know, I thought maybe putting something on top of it might uh, make it smoky or tamp the fire down, but it's doing great. So, let me start the timer, and we'll be back when that's boiling. We're about a minute in, and uh, this does require that you feed it wood. So I've been feeding the wood in there. It seems to be going very well. Let's lift it up real quick to see. Got a nice wood fire going on in there. And it's not going everywhere. And even with the wind blowing back and forth and shifting a little bit, it is really focusing it on the base. As you can see, we already have bubbles inside there. So let's check the timer here. One minute and... hope you can see that. <laughs> 30 seconds. And for 1 minute and 30 seconds, that's pretty darn amazing. This thing really, really caught up and went. So I'll bring you back when we're all done. All right, it just started rolling, boiling here. Here we go. 3 minutes, 20 seconds. That is pretty amazing for such a small little uh, little uh, wood stove. Let me pull that off there. You can see that's still going. And all I did to keep it going was I kept feeding it in through the sides like that. Really, really simple and easy. So, definitely a, a winner in my book. Um, not very expensive. We'll get into the price. Uh, but it's under $10. So, that was really the shocker for me. So, let me let this burn out. Clean everything up. And I will wipe down the stove. Show you what it looks like after a burn. And uh, let you know where you can get it. And more information on it. Alright, so there it is. I ran it under some water to uh, cool it off. But it was fairly cool. Burned everything down to ash really well. Um, definitely liking it. It's a cool little stove. If you have a gas stove and you want like a backup wood stove in case your gas runs out, that is the way to go. This thing is so tiny and light it's not even funny. So let's take it apart really quick. Really simple to do. You're just going to unhook one side there and I'm going to wipe that off. Now I do notice a little bit of warping on the bottom there. No big deal, but uh, I did notice it. But the sides are not warped at all, and they come apart very, very simply. And again, I'm, you know, it's a stove, it's going to get filthy, I'm not worried about it, but I am just wiping it off to show you, you know, that's what it'll look like after, after use. I just want to get some of the black soot off so it doesn't get all over the case and all over me next time I use it. But you can tell it's a neat little system. And, like I said, it's $9.99. And again, there are limited supplies of them right now. 
Okay, there's, I think it said something like 10 left or 8 left or something. Don't worry. I know I put stuff up and it sells out quick. But don't worry about that. They are stocking more. I already spoke to them. So there will be more up there. So just bookmark it or put it in your, your wish list on Amazon. And you'll be able to pick it up no problem. Definitely a cool little thing. Um, excellent little backup stove, you know, for situations where you think you're going to be running out of gas. And you do have the option of putting this in the bottom and using this as a burner just for a, uh, you know, the little burner tabs, the Trigi alcohol stove or whatever, you can use this as a base. I mean, if you wanted to get really creative and turn it into a gas stove, I guess you could take the middle out of a gas stove, stick the burner in there and run the hose away, but why would you bother? The whole idea of this is making this a convenient, easy to use, lightweight wood stove, and I definitely like it. So, they give you, I'm gonna dry it up so it doesn't stick together. You stack all these together, and my little trick for stacking these neatly is just sticking my finger through the middle there. So they all go together neatly, and you're just going to stick these in here like that. And they do have a little elastic band that goes around the center. So I'll pack that in right there. And I guess if you wanted to go really ultra light, and you didn't mind burning on the ground, just using this as a ring would probably work pretty well. I'm going to wipe this off one last time to dry it. There we go. That's nice and dry. We're going to stick this over it and put this right back into its storage bag for easy transport. And as you can tell, it cleaned up easy. It cooled off fairly easy. It was fairly cool when I put water on it. And there you go. All set and ready for your next adventure. And seriously, this could fit into a cargo pocket, a back pocket, anything. Really, really small, convenient to carry stove. And seems to be very effective. I was really shocked at that under... Under four minute boiling time there, was it like three minutes and 20 something seconds or something? Not bad at all for something like that. And it uses nice small pieces of wood, so you don't have to go nuts batoning. You can just take small pieces of wood, break them down, stick them in there, and you're ready to go. Or a longer piece like this, and just feed it in through the side. Plenty of feed holes to feed the, the, the wood in. So like I said, I will put a link down below where you can grab this. Um, there are only a few left. Just add it to your uh, wish list, and it will be back in stock within probably a week or so. They are $9.99. This is the Hurie, H-E-R-U-I, folding wood stove. And again, it kind of doesn't fold. It's more of an assembling wood stove, but uh, definitely a cool little neat project. So anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to check our links down below. we got the link for the stove down there, as well as our Amazon affiliate store. Don't forget to check our Thrive Life link. We do have sales going on this month for Thrive Life for both my regular customers and my customers who are brand new, who are interested in getting started. Don't forget to check out our link with our uh, Food for Patriots. That's preparewitheridium.com. I'm telling you, folks, now is the time to get started stocking up on food. Um, it can't hurt. And if nothing happens this year, you got a 25-year shelf life on all freeze-dried food, pretty much. Now's the time to start stocking up on it. So, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.